Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, Saturday evening, it is bitterly, bitterly cold. Just about to start doing some feeding. Uh, no videos up over the last, it's nearly four weeks, I think, since I had a video up. Um, no reason really for it other than just taking a little bit of a break. Uh, a lot of people message me, see, is everything all right? You didn't get sick. Uh, have you quit? No, none of those things. Just a little bit of a break from it. Uh, it has been uh, a busy enough year trying to get a couple of videos up every week and it is very time consuming especially if a couple of young kids and stuff like that so when you come in the evenings last thing you want to do is spend three hours out of the video maybe or maybe more sometimes uh, and yeah just it all catches up with you so not that much going on this time of the year cattle are all in we're just feeding um, and yeah seemed just a good time to take a bit of a break so that's what i've done uh, but we're going to get back into the swing and making some videos again over the next few weeks uh, about all different things so uh, just about to start feeding at the minute it's bitterly cold we've had a uh, really windy last couple of days uh, and temperature has really dropped so there's a huge wind chill factor there as well uh, it is dry which is the only bonus but we want to be cold, but not just this cold. If it was a wee bit warm, we'd be happy. Because it never pleased us anyway. Well, so what have we been doing over the last few weeks? Uh, with the cattle that's inside, just more or less status quo, uh, feeding away at them, keeping an eye on them, make sure there's no issues, no animals with sore feet or anything like that developing, and keeping a tight eye on that. But uh, bulls and heifers are doing well, so happy enough with that. Uh, we have been working with uh, the cows and calves, so. Uh, all the cows and calves are now weaned. Some of the cows is here. So we'll actually we'll, we'll head up and have a quick look at the cows that uh, is here at home in the yard. So this is the cows we have at home. Uh, there's 20 cows here and one of the stock bulls as well. Uh, yeah, they've acclimatized nicely to being inside. They were happy to get inside. Uh, they were grazing outside all the time. So uh, very easy to put them in. I was literally open the gate. They run in themselves, which isn't usually like them. They usually like to... Uh, make you walk for it but just the same with the uh, you open the gate there's only one place they want to go and that's inside so yeah walked out well got them in got the calves taken off them and calves ball a little bit for uh for a few days but not too bad uh, and yeah cows have acclimatized nicely to be inside uh, lovely silage silage is fantastic absolutely delighted with the silage quality of it is very very high you can see the color of it there uh, it's a lovely golden colour, really sweet smell of it, and they're eating, eating a lot of silage. Um, yeah, so everything good on that front. No calves due until end of February time. So yeah, bit of time for that. Uh, and happy enough with that. We don't want to see any calves for a while yet. Uh, so yeah, we'll go up and have a quick look at the wheels. All right, so the lighting isn't fantastic in here. Some of the lights aren't working, but yeah, you should be able to see them a little bit. A uh, batch of the bulls here. Uh, nice batch of bulls. Uh, heifers then on this side. This is a smaller batch of heifers. No lighting early there at all. Uh, and then another batch of bulls here too. Um, yeah, nice enough batch of animals. Uh, there's another batch of heifers then over here as well. So, yeah. Nice batch of weanlands. Uh, the only issue that we had with them was when we were splitting them, never happened before i'll go down in here where there's a bit better light we we're splitting them one of the best weaning bulls that was on it caught his leg awkwardly slipped caught his leg and fucking broke his leg couldn't believe it never happened before uh just a freak accident and we ended up having to yeah got the vet out and put him down so not ideal disaster actually uh but Apart from that, they're a nice batch of Weanlands. Uh, there's a couple of smaller ones on it than usual. Uh, the dry spell in, in the year, a couple of the cows we think may have dried up, and it just meant that a couple of the Weanlands didn't just do as well as what we would have liked. But overall, as a batch, they're, they're probably okay. There's only really one or two of them like that. But it's just the kind of year that it was uh, when there was the grass. The grass wasn't great at one point, and a couple of the cows would have dried up. So, But anyway, that's, that's another story. Uh, but yeah, good to have them in. Uh, there's another 30 cows then down on the out farm. They're getting fed round bales. So a bit of walking those, feeding those, and I'll do a video on those and feeding them uh, maybe later in the week. So yeah, we'll go down, we'll put in bales, and we'll, I'll show you the whole thing down there. She probably have seen a lot of it before, but we'll have a look at it again, just afresh for this here. Uh, 
yes, that's really that end of it. Uh, nothing else really wild or wonderful. Uh, everything else is kind of as it was. As I said, there's not much else going on other than feeding and uh, a daily routine. But we'll and maybe do a day in the life kind of a thing where we'll go through a whole day of what, what I have to do and uh, what, what just goes on uh, on the farm this time of the year. So, yeah, that'll, that'll be something to do in the next number of weeks or in the lead up to Christmas. Okay, so my friends over at Olight have sent me a couple of torches here for us to have a look at. Uh, they're running a Black Friday sale, which lasts now over the whole weekend. It actually started on November 25th. Uh, it's running until 30th November at midnight, so it's going to run for another couple of days. So you've got a good chance here now to, to purchase some cheap lights. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a good flashlight for the winter months, or if you're looking for a, 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 an early Christmas present. Uh, for yourself or for somebody else uh, it's a chance to, to save some money if you want to buy them a good torch uh, lights we're going to look at Seeker 3 Pro and the Array 2S so we'll pull out the Seeker the Seeker uh, 3 Pro first uh, as always nicely packaged as is always the case with anything Olight uh, we'll take it out it comes in a lovely little case uh, case can be clipped on to your belt uh, or onto your whatever you want really, clip it wherever you like, super little case uh, to keep it protected. So rubber grip here on the sides, uh, as always, it's got the magnetic uh, clip-on uh, charger. Uh, the light itself, a couple of lovely little features on this light, I really like this light. Uh, there is a secret tree which has got three uh, three lights on it. This one here has actually got four on, so it's extra, it's got some extra power to it. Uh, it also has, if you press the, the button down here, you'll see at the side, there's a battery indicator. You can see it's three quarter way up on the battery indicator. There's three of the four uh, lights is lighting on it. So that kind of gives you an indication of what battery life is left in the light. Uh, then to start the light, uh, just give it a little bit of a twist. You'll see that light come on. You can then hit it once. Uh, there's a couple of different settings on it. Now here's, here is the, the brighter setting. So there's a, a class cool little feature that I really like on it. You can Twist around a dial here, which reduces the light out of the torch. See that? So you don't need to keep pressing it. You don't need to do anything. You can change how bright it is by ch just twisting this dial. And it is fairly bright. You can see it there. So really, really nice little feature. Really like that. Uh, press it once and to turn it off. So yeah, nice little feature. Uh, you can move between full power and a lower power by just pressing... Uh, if you have it off, you press it once, it comes on at a lower power, double click it, and it comes on at a higher power. Uh, and then that can be controlled then, as I say, by twisting the dial to reduce it down. So really nice feature. Uh, if you just keep pressing it three or four times, it light flashes. Uh, and yeah, really nice light. Uh, super light out of it. I'll just give you a little show outside to show you what it's like, what the, the brightness of the light is like. Okay, so a test on the Seeker 3 Pro. You can see the brown. I'm just scrolling the dial now, so it should just get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. There you go, that's at a full brightness. Uh, and it's, see right even down to the, the bottom cattle shed. Super, super light out of that. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, really impressed with that. Magic. Seeker 3 Pro. Okay, next light. I'm really looking forward to checking it out. It's the Array 2S. So, a headlight, which is always very, very useful. Uh, okay, so first thing I see, uh, it's got three different lights on it. Uh, yeah, two small ones and a larger one. Uh, head strap. Uh, is very much of the usual type usb connection in it here so you just pop it back put your usb connection in there for charging uh, so your battery built in here to the back of the, the actual strap uh, then you have a, a lead that goes right around the front and connects into the light itself uh, so very neat tidy job uh, so we'll see if we can turn it on okay so the first light that comes on is actually a red light which i'm not actually sure what that's for uh, second one then, which is, I would imagine, is the lower light. Uh, it comes on, it's alongside the red light. So it's the smaller one 
and then we'll double click it and both lights then come on at the same time so yeah you can see that there uh, and then a few different settings on that so that's very very bright so yeah let's do a little bit of a, a test on it uh, I'll turn the lights off and check it out and just see what the light is out of that but that's quite impressive and a, a very nice setup indeed so yeah let's check that out all right so head torch and just have it in the shed here uh, I'll press and hold it see if I can get it onto a bright setting whoa that is bright that's impressive that really is impressive uh, again if you're walking around in here it's it's daylight it's brighter than daylight that's super super impressive you can see it there uh, it's very very bright uh, so that's that's very impressive uh, four different settings on it if i press and hold it you can see it just scrolls through the four different light settings quite quickly uh, can i get it to go red will we see There we go took a couple of scrolls but you can also get it to go red which is actually quite bright as well uh, strangely enough anyway that is that yeah so that's the array two uh, lovely soft strap on it as well so uh, just on your forehead uh, it'll be nice and nice and comfortable to wear and yeah looking forward to using this uh, this is something that uh, i'll be able to use quite a bit uh, especially at, at all different jobs if you're doing some work on a tractor um or anything at all yeah, just to have that uh, to have a head torch there that you don't have to hold uh, you can see you can click the position of it round so it can go straight out or then you can click it down to, to point down almost at your feet so yeah just a bit of a adjustment there in that uh, yeah so yeah the array too so that's the two lights that all light sent me out uh, two cracking little lights really like them um as always in the description below there's an affiliated link if you go in through that i get a small commission out of it if you spend any money uh, so yeah that'd be great if you could do that also even if you want to have a look go in through the link anyway and have a have a browse through and you'll see uh, it's it's clear or uh, what savings there is to be made on the lights because uh, if you click in through that brings you onto the main website and it shows you then all the deals that's going on and pictures of the lights and you can actually click in and it gives you all the details on the lights so that's probably the best way to to look at it um yeah it's it's a bit clearer even than than looking in the description below you can see pictures of the lights and what what's what with them uh yeah so that's that's really it for today's video hope you enjoyed it um yeah, a bit rusty, I suppose. No videos the last few weeks, but good to be back. Looking forward to a bit of interaction. Uh, comments in the comment section and seeing all that end of it. That's, that's the bit that I do all this for. Uh, and yeah, looking forward to seeing all that. The trailer, haven't showed it to you yet. Uh, we have it pulled in. Hold on, see. I'll see if I can just show it to you uh, or show you a little bit of it. That's all you're going to see for now. Have to be careful. Uh, yeah. It's pulled in, it's getting dried off. There's a few jobs still to be done. We've talked lights and stuff like that. And so there'll be a video on that, uh, hopefully around maybe next weekend or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's it looks well. I'm looking forward to showing it to you. Uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the sub button. Uh, leave a like in the video. Comment down below, all those things. And we'll see you during the week. Take care, have a good weekend.